Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm here with my brother, Nux. Hello. And happy anniversary, everyone, because it is now officially... You can't see it from over here, can you? Mm-hmm. Oh, you can? Okay, yeah. good. Um, it's the Fago anniversary today. Well, it's not the day we celebrate the anniversary, because that's on Anime Expo. It oh. is app-released anniversary. Yes. It is not our anniversary. No, this is the day that the game officially started, where most gotchas would do their anniversary. Not for go. <laughs> Ours is tied to Anime Expo. But to celebrate the anniversary, I figured it'd be nice to kind of look back on uh, the NA game and kind of like go through some of the old stuff and talk about some of the early times starting up in Fago because I don't think I've ever done a video like this and I don't know I want at seven years in it's kind of nostalgic to think about this game a lot of changed in seven years yeah like insane uh, to an insane degree I could say for us for sure when this game came out we had a house <laughs> that's how when different this game came out we did have a house indeed yeah it was very different <laughs> the, the everything was different in our lives so Let's get right into it. As always, for the start of celebration, feel free to tell us anything that you uh, have to say about the anniversary. Any story related to it, to be honest. All right, let's start. Uh, let's look back. So, do you remember what your first unit was? Like, the first unit that you got... Obviously, everyone starts with MASH. Do you remember the first three, three star that comes with your account when you did your multi? Marie Antoinette. That's a four star. That's the, the initial multi, though. Did back in the day was it when the was the first multi only a single unit? Because if that's the case, I you think... can get three stars, but there's no fives. Yeah, I know. In the in the initial summon, there wasn't anything like that. So the reason I'm saying is like, so your first unit that ever popped up for you wasn't a three star; it was a four star. You can actually check this on your account because on mine it oh, is. No, I can't. Why not? Like, why can't you check? This mine? isn't the same account. Oh, that's right. Yours is different from mine. Yeah, that's right. You had to start over. Mine was um. Mine was Romulus. That was the first one I got. My very first ever three-star, any servant that wasn't MASH is Romulus on the account. And I believe the four-star was... I want to say it was Hercules. I can't actually tell because on my account, something funky must have happened and the first four-star on the account... Oh, it was Emia. Emia was my first four-star. On this account, mine was Emia. You know why I can tell that? Because you burned him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, your long-standing tradition of burning Emias. Took me four years to keep an Emia. It did. Um, did you ever? Do you burn your Muramasa, right? No. Okay, that was the thing no, that I burned Ishtar. Okay, Ishtar. To get a Reshikagal. That's right. <laughs> that was what you did. Uh, but yeah, in the first tutorial role, I got Emia, and then because I started the game, it was followed up by. Um, uh, Saber Lily and then the next multi which is the one you can do and you can actually get a five star it was Altera and that was like I think the first multi and I remember because back then people were when the Fago game came out a lot of people were going like oh can we do the reroll and if you are unfamiliar with the reroll process of Fago it was you just start over again you delete the data you go back in and then that's it <laughs> that's the only way you could re-roll in it, and the reason we know it is because back in the day when uh, Skahawk comes up, our sister wanted an account with Skahawk in it. That's how I got my new one. Yeah, so you had to re-roll because we were trying to get one for her somehow. Rerolled re -rolled the entire Thanksgiving weekend. <laughs> Till you finally said, I'm buying you the Skahawk account, and I looked at you dead in the eyes. <laughs> And I managed to stick by because I did do a multi the next day. Literally, I can show you. It shows that I got MASH on this day, uh -huh. and the next day directly, I got my first five star, who was Kentoki. That's funny. So, do you know why I had to buy that account for her? Why? Is because, so we're, we're jumping ahead a little bit, this is in November. So, the reason is, is that. I pulled her on my account uh, when she came out, and I wasn't expecting it because it, when I first started on the JP version of the game, the first reason I quit was because I tried to pull for Skahawk, and then I didn't pull her. And then I told my friends, like, so is she, is she coming back? And he's like, I don't think so. It could be years. And I'm like, this is fucking stupid. And I deleted the game, and I never came back. 
<laughs> and so when NA came in, I was like, well, this is my chance now. I got her. And I got her on the multi, and I was so happy. And then I went up to her and was like, look, I got her. And she said, oh, great. Is for me? <laughs> and then there was like a full on. Yeah, oh, I was there. I was like, oh, shit. And then I was like, and then immediately after when I went to my, I was like, you know what, let me think about it. Let me see if I can re-roll you one. That's when I went into it. I went, can you buy an account with Skog in it? <laughs> because I knew for a fact, the, the, I knew inside that what she was asking was unreasonable <laughs> to be like, no, uh, this was obviously for me. Even though I had started the account, I had been built up. And if you're unaware, I think the Nobu event had just ended. Yeah. So that means that I would have had to miss out on Nobu completely when I got her. It was either close to ending or it was ending. And if you'd never played this event, the original Hinoji NG, it was annoying. I never did the full thing. I think it was point rewards. This is the first point rewards in the game. And I think I got to 1 million and stopped. I never did any of the other ones because it was just so unbearable to grind. Uh, it was terrible. <laughs> it was one of the worst things I ever done in the game. Uh, it was a terrible event. But anyway, I got to that and then I immediately went into the computer. I looked up an account and I bought it for her. Because I knew that like if I give this account to her, she's going to stop playing. She, yeah. just, she just wants Skahawk because it's got Skahawk in it. Because <laughs> it's a cute lady. Yes, which is the same reason I want Skahawk. The difference is that I knew that I would treat my Skahawk right, so I ended up buying that account for her, and that's how I got it for her. Seven years later, I still don't have Skahawk, though. Really? I have Scotty. Re oh, that, yeah, that, that, I guess that makes sense. Uh, mine is currently MP3. Um, maybe one day get to MP5 just slowly, randomly. I don't even remember. I remember pulled on, I pulled on the bunny banner when she came back to get her again. I think I got the second one on her GSSR if I remember correctly. Uh, but yeah, to look back, this was the early launch campaign. I don't remember if there was anything... Again, yeah, there was there was nothing. I remember there being excitement because in general, Fogo's story was finally being brought over here and then there was going to be actually in English so people got to experience it for the first time. We did not get what uh, JP version of Fogo got, which JP, if you're unaware, has the legendary start of two weeks maintenance right from the start because it launched fucking broken. It was unbelievably broken. Like the way that NA, we started off so much better than JP did by like an insane degree. JP Fogo was broken. When people say like Fogo is carried by its IP, it's because no other IP but maybe Dragon Ball and One Piece could have survived that launch. It was insane how bad it was. That's two week maintenance. Pretty sure it was, it was. I think it was two weeks. It might have even been longer. It was, up until my knowledge, one of the longest maintenance a game had ever gone into. Outside of Bounty Rush, which had a maintenance that was so long that the game was different when it came back. So they said the game is going into maintenance, and it was a completely different game when it came back months later. Didn't Ori did the same thing? Or, no, because Or technically made a new game. Bounty Rush never changed the name and neither did Fate Grand Order. Yeah, they made it a separate app. Mm-hmm. Okay. It, was, it was a whole thing. But yeah, the I remember that there was a lot of excitement for it just to see it and to finally actually get to read the story because I had heard from friends that were actually reading translations that it was really good, but I never wanted to read it that way. I wanted to actually experience it while, while playing it and stuff. So, so here. here's uh, Gilgamesh, everyone's favorite character. Yes. I could not, for the life of me, I, I have this man, like Mandela effect. Wasn't his NP always the Gates of Babylon? Is it not? Is It's Enema Elish, isn't it? I don't remember him using Enema Elish. And so when I came back from JP to play on NA, I'm like, this is new. So, mm. I feel like there was something with old Gilgamesh that was d so wildly different. Is this his first old? And this is apparently his oldest NP. I know this is probably the Enema Illish. Like, like, Enuma? Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's that right. was original Enema Illish? Yeah, that seems right. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, if we can find the old. Gilgamesh animations, it might be worth it because it's crazy how much this dude got upgraded. Let me see. This is the one that, that's replaced. This is what I remember when I played on NA. What the hell? 
we did this? That's crazy. So this is the one I'm familiar with. I don't even remember the oldest. I played JP. Uh huh. You know I played JP for the longest time. I did. I do remember that. And I don't even know what Fate was about. <laughs> yeah, that's the funny thing is that when we both played Fate, we both have no idea what it's, it. It's uh, Babylonia. Yeah, it's the Babylonia NPC. That's, a, yeah, that's now the new. Yeah, this is the, the way it is now. Man, the 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 actual art the evolution that you can see here of like the old sprites of Mimir. I forgot that also on the JP version of the game, NA got this a little bit better, but the original version of the um, the sprites were just bad. Yeah, really bad. Yeah, this is frontwards facing Gilgamesh. Yeah, and then this is the normal version, which is just this, but now he's in the suit. Funny thing, we can't see that Babylonia NPC animation anywhere. Besides Babylonia. Babylon, yeah, that's right. That's another thing. That's the other funny thing about Babylonia is that it also has Merlin's original NP before they nerfed him when we got him. Because <laughs> when he released, he was actually slightly stronger than he is now. When they bring back Memorial Battles, they do have that support Merlin, though. Really? That's funny. That's arcade. Uh, yeah, that's arcade. Uh, completely we unrelated to Fago. Completely unrelated. But yeah, you're right. A lot of the early animations were, like, not amazing they weren't amazing but they also they don't feel right no there's something wrong with them and again that's another thing of like early day i wonder if he has no it's probably a lot it's most noticeable i think probably if i look up saber let me see if i can look up saber because i'm almost positive that they had to have changed saber at some point mm -hmm. uh no okay if i go here uh, it's also a big reason why I keep on getting the Neros confused as well. Really? Yeah, there's just something weird. I don't know. Oldest, yeah, there it is. The original... Excalibur. Uh, she hold, holds it close to her head first. 24 frames per second. Oh my god! <laughs> Go, wait a minute. That animation for old enough is so <laughs> weird. <laughs> Excalibur! Uh, amazing stuff, and then this is the older version that they upgraded it eventually to. A little bit better. Let's see how that swinging sword up animation looks like. Uh, it's a little bit smoother. Significantly better. And then this is what it is now, which is what we know it as in the era of the front-facing NP. In the era that Okita Majin changed forever. Exactly. Okita Majin changed the game forever by having her face show up in their Noble Phantasm. Much better. I would say. Well, having a separate cutscene showing them shooting the NP. Yeah. That is true. Um, did you ever try for Gilgamesh when he originally came out? Um. Because some. I, I want to say this is where I got Berserker a lot. I remember pulling on this, and I think I got Berserker Lancelot and Atalanta. And I think after this, I would get him to NP4 relatively early and then i said oh, i'm one away from getting a mp5 never got another copy yeah i think this is where i tried for him this is my old account mm -hmm. i didn't get him i'm pretty sure i both got atalante and lancelot though mm -hmm. this is also the the start of the era of we now and, and Ana has a completely different vibe to JP in the sense that JP can never know what's going to come up next. Where everyone on NA almost always knows what's going to happen two years from now. And I remember going like, I think this is when I said like, oh, I, I need to look ahead and see what I'm going to get. And I'm like, I think Iskandar is like a, in a year or two. So I need to start saving and not summon on things. And then the next banner that had Gilgamesh, I immediately broke that because it has Lancelot and he's from Zero and I love Zero. And Gilgamesh is also from Zero, so to complete Zero, I would also have him from there. At the beginning of... Um, I, I had such a weird relationship with Gilgamesh. You didn't know My if you weird... wanted to hate him or you wanted to like him? Yes, because if you're unaware... So this is how... And you can make fun of me of how the way I started it. My first Fate Anything is Fago. And then I skip the visual novels completely. I won't hear anyone say go read it. When they get officially translated over here, maybe. I've always said that I wanted to say, keep it for a subscriber goal on the channel. To say like, okay, now I'll actually legitimately do it. Uh, not that I have anything against VNs, because I actually do like a lot of visual novels. Um, 
and I like reading in general. It's just funny that for specifically with Fate, I never did it, but I think it's because it was a pain in the ass back in the day to do it. I think it's easier now. It's easier now. Yeah, originally when my friends wanted me to go and see it, because they had been into it way longer than I had, like before even Fago was a thing, like back before Fago was a thing and Fate was just a series in itself and there was watching the movies, they were always just like, oh yeah, read the VN. I'm like, well, how do I do that? He's like, okay, first you have to install this, and then there's some other weird things. I'm like, I'm not doing all of that. I'm do I'm not doing all that. So good luck with that. I'm not doing it. Um, so yeah, the, my thing with Gilgamesh has always been weird because it started with that one, and then it was uh, Fate Stay Night, the Dean one. The one with the sex dragon. That was my first one. That's the one you have saved. And spoilers, that's still my favorite route of Fate Stay Night. <laughs> That has been seen animated. So then I went to Zero, and I really like Zero. Uh, I think, I think is Zero still my favorite one? Chances are. It makes a lot of people angry, but it's still my favorite. And then I watched uh, Unlimited Blade Works. Hated it. Completely hated it. 100%. Um, and that's what made me start hating Gilgamesh was Unlimited Blade Works. That's also where my hate from Emiya comes from. Because if you see, I think, early videos of me of Emiya, I don't have the hate for that I have for him now. Yeah. Um, I've gotten a little bit better as Fago has released more story stuff and I've just been exposed to them. And I'm like, they're not like that. And I'm like, okay, it's fine. I'm no, I'm no longer, like, angry with them and stuff like that. So that was basically my thing with Gilgamesh. And then, so, when he's in here in Fago, I'm in full hater mode up until Babylonia, and I think Babylonia is just so good that I, like, can't deny it anymore. You can't deny that Gilgamesh is not always like that. <laughs> yeah, I accepted it, because Gilgamesh has maybe one of the coolest weapons and move sets of anyone in Fate, and I think of any anime character in general. I don't think they can really write another character like Gilgamesh. No, he's a... With what he can do. Yeah, it's a, it's a special kind of thing. So I've kind of learned to, over time, uh, accept and love the character, basically. I think it's easy to say that much. But yeah, the summoning campaign. I always try for him, and I always fail, is the the basic thing here. And then we have Extella. This is when Nero, Nero Fest, the first Nero Fest... Um, which I have the thing for Nero Fest, and I think I also... This is gonna be insane, because if I remember right... Yeah, this is the banner. What an insane banner, looking back on it. Could you imagine anyone summoning on this today? Mm. Where the featured unit on this, that people want, is Nero, and she's a four-star. It is kind of insane to think about, right? It is very insane it, to it, think about. It is her festival. She's a four star. She's a four star. She is a leading lady in a fake games, mm -hmm. and she is somehow a four star. I'm not sure how they approve that. It's kind of mind boggling. That's why I think like they almost immediately made Bride because I think they realized they fucked up. In Val next year Valentine's, that's when they made Bride, and I'm like, okay. Now we that find... makes up for it, but <laughs> this is from a game I ultimately know nothing about. Yeah, because it was never. It's now not officially translated. It's fan translated, which it's is fan the... translated, which is actually okay. Yeah. But if you were to say where's Bride Nero from, you would find no translation for CCC back then. Yeah, it was a complete mystery. I think I even had to ask, about, "What's this from?" And they're just like, "It's from CCC." I'm like, why is she like that? And they're like, "We have no idea." She just is. Because <laughs> back then, I think the only thing that was even remotely translated for CC was the Gilgamesh route, and it was, like, on Tumblr. It was yeah. on Tumblr for the, the for the girls out there. Yeah, exactly. That's where you could find it. That's him. because he was naked. Yep, yeah, of course. So, yeah, this is the first Nero Fest. This is where I got this one from. I don't remember if I ever was able to do any of these. Nope, I couldn't. I, I saw, I tried one fight. I was like, no, this is too hard. <laughs> Oh, actually, was there any actual fights in here? No, the grand finale is the, the one fight. Yeah. They don't start until next year. They don't do the big fights till next year. Yes, but I remember also the when the, when they first did the fights, I could almost do, like, one or two of them, and then none of the other ones. So, yeah, Nero Fest is here, then August. The Moon Goddess event, which is technically our first... Not our first event. The first event is Nero. Um, but this is the first... Mm, and this one, I guess, be the first traditional event that you can think of. This for. this was the event that made me quit my original count. Really? What happened? I didn't get Orion. Yeah, I could see that. I was like, I used everything. Um, so far in the story, I don't want to farm anymore. <laughs> Very fair enough. Um, and the the furthest you can get in the story was like, ooh, I don't know, September. 
Septem, yeah. Septem was where, where I think you could go up to. Yeah, I was just annoyed. Yeah. I think on this banner is where I got my first copy of Waver, which helped take the sting out of not getting Orion. Um, which I wasn't wanted because obviously it's Artemis and... It is Artemis and Orion. Yes. I've always liked them together, so it was a fine thing here. I was never able able to get any of the... I think the only one I have is Moon Cell Automaton and Moon Jewel, but I was never able to get Moon Goddess Bath. That doesn't really get re-ran that often. No, it doesn't. And it's, I see it's why. It's not really good. <laughs> Heal HP, uh, 500 HP each turn. And then if it's max on limit broken, is it 1,000? It's probably like 800. 750. 750. And if you get this all the way to max level 100, that's 2,000 HP for you right there. Damn. Full heals. Uh, chances are this is broken with some kind of build that we just don't know. Probably. <laughs> Moon Jewel is charm resistance up by 80%. Is just it, it's is it at least a hundred. Wait a minute, this would have been really. Why didn't I use this when I fought um, Raiko and shoot it back in the day? <laughs> this would have actually been kind of useful. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, the Moon Goddess. I think the event itself was like just do events, clear requests, and then get Moon Dumplings, and that was it. There wasn't really a big Fago event just yet. No, and then this was the first event craft essence back in the day when it wasn't fifty percent um, NP on every single one of them. It was just like, here has some crit damage and crit star, and then here's a really nice art of uh, Orion fucking pounding it while Artemis pounding the mochi. Show. Exactly. Well, she eats the mochi. I didn't even realize she was eating something in this. <laughs> and then I think to unlock it, yeah, it was like ten, forty, a hundred, two hundred. Silly event, and then eventually we it would come back, but it would get rerun, but it wasn't anything crazy. And then I think this is when the treasure vault actually come out. Cause, but no, this is just a one half AP. Uh, one million download campaign. I does this where Da Vinci comes from? No, it just has Da Vinci. Da Vinci is first anniversary. This is Kentucky. This is Kentucky. Yeah, this is when Kentucky shows up. I don't think I tried summoning on this back in the day, though. I should probably should have, cause maybe I would have had a chance to get saber altar. Yeah. It would take me a while to get used to... No way, was this featured? Black Grail? Yeah. That's crazy. So this is when Black Grail actually comes into the game. Or was it always in the game, and then this is just when it gets featured? I'm not sure. Mm. I, I don't have the summon things for that far ago. Yeah, to be fair, I don't have it either. Let me see... I guess I wouldn't say. I know that, that there was, um, a, I had, this had to be a base one, and it was just being featured back then, just because there wasn't a lot of things to feature. Um, I like Kintoki. That's my, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It, it did take a while for me to get used to them, but over time, they've really released a whole bunch of them to make me feel better. Uh, Fuki pickup summon. This is where Saber's finally here, and then they're just like, you know what? Get cleared up to Septem. Do you remember any of the story of Septem? No. Uh, the main thing I remember, which I remember being like, this is really weird, is that Nero is alive during all of it. Yeah. And it is the first case, I want to say, of a unit, of a, of a servant being actually alive while they're doing things. And it just made no sense how she was able to keep up with a lot of the servants. <laughs> Funny enough, they would do that again, because in Lost Belt 3, if you don't know, um, old man, Lin, uh... Lin Shuen? Li Shuen. Li Shuen. Uh, he's technically alive, I think, during Lost Belt 3. But that's different because he's now old and he's, like, fucking crazy powerful. And is known for his power, where Nero is not known for being powerful when yeah. Nero was alive. That's fair to say. Even if it is maybe the Fade version of Nero, which is maybe different, which has always been a weird thing to do it. But I remember, I think that's one of the basic reasons why people have problems with Septem, is that it's a lot of just, like, man, Nero's pretty awesome. And then you have Altero. Yeah, and then Altero shows up at the end. <laughs> That's what I remember about, about Septim. Wow, isn't Nero awesome? And then Altero's there, and then it's over. Um, but then this is where Okeanus comes in as well. Drake. Yep, Drake. Uh, I think I ended up summoning for this one because I really like Drake. If I remember right, this is where Drake first shows up. Yes, that is correct. I think this is where I actually maybe get Drake, but I don't remember. Um... I really like Drake. I've always liked Drake. Victor of the Moon and another ending. Still angry they they did not include her in the pirate theme summer event. Just not. It feels like it should have been warranted. 
It sh it feels like. I feel like it, the fact that she wasn't in it, but Christopher Columbus was, was a direct slap to my face. And Edward Teach got his skin? He did! It really did feel like they just forgot that Drake should have been a part of the event. I think they forget about her in general. Yeah, I think after Agartha, they've been very wary about using Drake, except for in, like, tiny pieces like in I mean, Atlantis. You gotta think about how long it took for Wu Zetane to come back into story. Yeah, how long true. it took, uh, it didn't take her that long, actually. Sure. Uh, Sherazade was in summer, basically. But that's because they had to do, like, PR immediately. Yeah. Because if they didn't, they would have been, never been able to use Sherazade again. Um, no... I like Okeanos because, uh, do you remember anything of the story of Okeanos? A lot of, uh, tentacles. Okay. I, but this is my, one of my favorite moments from any story, is that the way that they decide that they're gonna beat Her Hercules, Heracles, is that they're gonna throw the Ark of the Covenant at him. <laughs> yeah. Is that David says, I have, the Ark of the Covenant is summoned when I'm summoned. What if we just throw it at her? Because they're just like, he's almost, he's basically borderline unkillable with based on the people we have now. We just ain't got it to take him down. Which, I, this is what I always appreciate is that whenever they use Hercules in story, he is actually that threatening. Um, he's actually just invincible. Yes, which is the way, which is another, yes, which is what I love about Her Heracles. And in this one, the way they beat him is so funny because they just like fucking toss it at him and he goes, her? And he opens it and he just gets blasted in the face and he goes oh <laughs> it's the most funniest image ever like just imagine Hercules big ass coming after you and then he goes okay he drops a chest in front of him and he goes huh? he opens it up and then just fucking the part of raiders happens for all seven of his lives as he gets taken down i don't even think it takes down all of them i want to say it takes like almost all but the last one or maybe something like that but i it, think so it is a fantastic moment, and I really do like a lot of uh, Okeanos for that reason. This is also the day before... Um, Jason and Medea Lily. Yes, the Medea Lily is in the next banner. Jason would take a long time to finally show up. And by the time they do release him, I want to say he looks completely different from what he, he did. He looks completely different. Yeah, if we can look at... Um, he looks whack in his new armor. <laughs> a little bit. Let me think he's, he's right there. Where? Down. Keep going down. There he is. The, the brown kind of fits in with everything. He should be here in his other... Uh, no, I have to the go The gallery's to, up there. Yeah, the gallery's up here. So we see... He's kind of right. wearing it. No, Let's that's see. his sprites. There we go. There he is. This is how he looked like in Okeanos. Originally. Yes, and we've never had this outfit. We've only had it on his lily. He was much more pretty boy, and then he turned into like a weird scrawny man. I want to say, yeah, I want to say they debuffed him, right? They they like they twinkified him a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Like I want just a little bit more me on my man's. I think he could use it. There's a lot of expression sheets, by the way. <laughs> There's a lot of spoilers expression sheets too. Yes, there are. Uh, it's fine. It's tiny. They won't see it. Um, but yeah, I, re I just remember he looks completely different. He looks a little bit more like him in his final ascension. Yeah, because like it looks like it's directly from Agartha. Yeah, this looks a little bit more like it. There he is, Herc Her in the back, Herc and Medea in the back. Perfect. This is the, the way he has to be seen. But yeah, that's Jason. He would start the the trend of not a dude not showing up for like a long ass time. J Jason <laughs> just being an NPC. Yep. Um, here's Halloween, 100 Day Okeanus Anniversary, two. Okeanus Part 2, feature. This is the only time Herc has ever been featured on a banner, by the way. Hercules is never, has never been featured on a banner and is in no future banners coming up. You don't know that. Yes, I do. Because I looked at it. He's coming I think soon. they said here in trivia, as of February 2022, he is a servant whose first defense skill has been locked at max level the most out of all people. Okay, that makes sense. I want to say there's like a, a thing specifically. He just doesn't really is never featured, just because he's Heracles and he is an extremely good unit. He also is a very old one. He is. He's one of the oldest ones, but he's still that that he still has the most insane bonsi of any of the year one units. I want to say. You mean the one that just gives him more guts? Yeah, the one that makes him cannon. Yeah. Castle of Snow. There it is. When equipped on Heracles, grant self-gut stats for three times. Because if you don't know, he's supposed to have, like, seven layers of guts, basically. 
Um, but if they actually made him like how he's supposed to be, then that would mean that after every time he gets revived, then they should have made him a five star. They should have made him a five star. It's crazy that he's not. Like I assume that they're they're going to use another version of Heracles down the line. It's just that when's that ever going to happen? When's that going to happen, and how would that compare to Berserker? Exactly. Who's already lost it? Yeah. So I assume that you would have to do like early day. Apparently, is like back before, like, like during the seven trials. Then? Yeah, like during the labors. Like I think that's the best point that you can have on because once it goes down, because I want to say this version is the one after he's poisoned his wife and he's like burning himself at the end. Yeah. Um, you would need that version of Heracles to actually do anything, but you know, we'll see if it ever happens. The fact that they haven't really done much means that they're probably gonna have to just wait. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, Halloween, do you remember what the Halloween servant, for first ever Halloween servant, five star was? To Mama? Yeah, it's to Mama. Do you remember her being in the story? No. It's because she's not in the story. She's not she's, in the story. <laughs> she, this is just her first banner. She's not in the story. Cat is. She isn't. And this is also where a little Halloween devil shows up, which ended up being one of the craziest MP generation CEs, and that has very rarely ever come back. I think this eventually gets replaced by um, the Prisma Ilium one, which is just because it's 40% starting MP gauge, but it's like 30, 30% MP generation, I want to say. Yeah, I have it. Yeah, it's uh, an insane CE. And then this one apparently is also pretty good, Halloween Arrangement, because it it's actually... It's a taunt CE. Yeah, it gives taunt and then gives them defense up by 60% for a single turn. A lot of the old CEs are kind of like that. They're either kind of dumb or they're strangely busted. We already talked a little bit about Thanksgiving. This is the selection campaign as well. Uh, December. No, do you remember when? When was our GSSR? For what? the first GSSR the NA ever had. Do you remember when we had it? Was it? Uh, no, I don't. It was in Thanksgiving. Uh, I never paid for it, so I don't know. Yeah, back in the day, it was thirty paid quarts if you wanted to summon on it. Um. So we got it early, and a lot of people were saying, oh my god, NA exclusive banner, I can't wait to summon on this, and then the one on New Year's, for when the time comes. And then... New Year's came. New Year's came. Karna and Nijuna. Yeah. No GSSR. There was no GSSR. There was no GSSR. <laughs> this is... And there was a huge shit show because there was two units missing from the GSSR that Japan had. So our GSSR was technically early and also technically worse. Yes. Um, and they never did this again. They never did the GSSR early. I want to say they did do an eventual like weird SSR thing, which they said like, hey, this is coming to JP eventually, but for right now it's on NA. Um, but yeah, that was definitely like, they got so much shit. And when it came time for... It happened again. People were like, when is it being announced? Is it going to be New Year? People were like freaking out saying like, oh, we're, we're just not getting the GSSR for this. It's, it's this and this and this. Like people, so much weird trust was broken by them not including it at the right time. Half a year in, huh? Yeah. This is where <laughs> half a year in is when the trouble started. started. Uh, also, this is the lending campaign from the London I know chapter. this. This is where I got my next SSR. Really? Who was it? Jack. Oh, yes, because Jack releases with this, correct? No, she was already she in, was, in the was, game. She was one of the... She was Christmas. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Um, I did not get anyone from here, but on the Okeanos Manor, I did get Medea Lily. Ooh, I think that's also where I got my Medea Lily. And she's been uh, serving me. And then uh, London Camping 2 Camping, I tried to go for Artoria. Didn't get neither of them. I tried to get it on here too. I didn't get either one either. Do you remember London at all? Uh, a little bit. Only like basically the last parts of it. Yeah, that's basically the only thing I remember from London because I remember it's going. Why is Kentucky here? Like, it really just a lot of the end of London is a lot there, of characters. There's a up. lot of non-Londoners at the end of here. Yeah, they're just like everyone get in here. Like Tomomo's there and she's just chilling with Kentucky. She's like, I just follow. They're him. like, we're just we're just hopping around. I'm like, what? What, the, what are they doing? <laughs> what does that mean? And then you fight Nikola Tesla. He's like, I'm the greatest Thunder Man. And then you beat him. And then it's like, there's still someone left. And then that's when she 
pops up and then Morgan and then um, Morgan's like I got it and she this is I think the start of the boss with insanely high HP no it's a New Year's is where it happens I think yeah. where eventually this Artoria Lancer gets like a million HP and that was like the hardest boss back in the day let's go back into 2018 now Saber Wars isn't for anyone that didn't get Lily at the start still um, didn't get her Still didn't get her from this event. Eventually, they would add her to the free-to-play banner, but eventually, Lily on JP was a case of a unit they wanted. Originally, their idea was is that if you were starting in the game, you would never get another uh, Lily. Um, it was going to be exclusive. Um, and then people said, hey, I joined slightly late. Can I please have it? And then they're like, okay, we'll make an event. And then the people missed the event, can I have it? And they're like, fuck it, it's just in the free-to-play banner now. Leave us alone. <laughs> Yep. Uh, two million download campaign. Mm -hmm. oh, this is where you, we got the cool CE. And which one did you pick? Oh man, I think I ended up picking Altera because Altera at this point was carrying me through most of events. This is where I got my Skyhawk. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you got your Skyhawk right here. And now, oh, this many years later, I'm still thinking maybe I should have went with Arjuna. Arjuna one's pretty good. Paco made the Arjuna one, and then. Awesome. I should have went with Darius. That was their actual. So if if you don't know this, in the Fago scene, people do actually collect all these CEs and they look for friend points. And I want to say Darius is the rarest of all of them, because it's so hard to find anyone that actually picked Darius. Because out of all these units, which is Mash, Saber, Jean, Altera, Arjuna, Skog, Ushuakamaru, uh, Ushuakamaru, Ushu Mephestus, um, Jekyll, and Darius. Darius is the least picked of them, I want to say. And second being Mephisto. Yes. It has Mephiles. to be that. Mephistopheles. And then the rest of And then it's probably Jack. And then it probably goes... Um, maybe Arjuna? I feel, it's between, I feel like it's between these three. These are the the jobber three. Yeah, the last three are definitely the, the, the three jobbers. They are the big loser three. <laughs> Even though we we hear Stan Darius age three, I prefer Darius the third over both of uh, Henry Jekyll and Mephistopheles. Yes, I would uh, I would agree with you. And this is also where you get the, the saber. This um, is where I got my hard carry. This this is the anniversary blonde is where it, what carried you for most of the game. Kentucky does a lot of damage if he has a buster up. That's true. And then this was the two million download campaign. That's right. Finn McCool. Finn McCool, Brynhild, and, and Beowulf. Beowulf. Um, and then I think Brynhilda doesn't show up again for another two years. Yep. If I remember right. And if I remember correctly, sh yeah, she doesn't. <laughs> yeah. This is this this is why if you ever wondered, I think on the servant thing that shows up here for limited servant that's why they use Brynhildr because she was the poster child of limited servants not returning because she took so goddamn long to return uh obviously it's not that anymore I want to say Arjuna Alter is maybe now number one as far as that goes but I might be wrong on that I think it is so we're heading into Valentine's yeah Valentine's Day who is the unit for Valentine's Day this is I don't remember who is the Valentine's Day that's a very good question Chocolate ladies, common chocolate. It has to be. Is it just ladies? Oh, that's right, Bright Nero. You literally said it earlier again. Oh yeah, it's Bright Nero. Yeah, Bright Nero, and this is the start of these type of banners, and this is also the start of the amazing tradition of uh, Street Choco Made getting new art by Redrop every year or so. This is Redrop the first of them. Always does on the Valentine's Day uh, CE. Yeah, based off of Street Choco Made. Honestly, this should have its own gallery. The fact that it doesn't is a cry and shame because he's done it literally every year with new units. Uh, it's amazing. Redrop, the gift. It's also the weird era. There there really isn't many CEs with servants on them if they aren't from the event. Yeah, it's true. This is the Because this is Bright Nero's event and you hardly see Bright Nero except for the C in the event. You're right, and you're just uh, both um Rin and Sakura aren't in the game yet. Because Ishtar's not in the game and neither is Parvati. No. Because that's when they first show up. Yeah. That's crazy, you're right. I I forgot that they used to do that. Man, what a what a weird thing to think about. But yeah, that's the way it goes. And this is our first collab, the Garden of Sinners. The Garden um, of Sinners. Did you summon for Shiki? I did back in the day. I failed to get Shiki. I think this is where I got my fourth copy of um, 
No, I didn't get my fourth copy here. I don't remember if I got anything good from here. I can actually check to see. Well, let me see. When did this release? On February 8th? February 8th. Did you summon on this? No. Because um, I got cheeky. I had the free one. I liked her more. Yeah, the free one was sick. But this, I think before this banner, this is where I got finally my first mainstay three star. Because if you didn't know, I always burnt my three stars. Mm -hmm. And it took maybe, well, since half a year, two, two more months. Uh, It took basically eight months for me to keep a three star. It was Bodica. <laughs> really? Yeah. It, you would have thought it would gill a saber. No, it was Bodica first. Really? So that's the first one you actually start legitimately keeping. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you also burned a uh, coup? Caster coup? Man. I burnt Caster coup. I got him back, though. <laughs> you did, at least. I, I summoned on story, remember? That's right. It, to be fair, you're not the first person to burn Caster coup. There's plenty. So, Sprinter, what? Well, that's right. Why is this in here? This Isn't is... this Fate Stay Night? Yes. So why, because this is from when he pole vaults, if I'm right, maybe I'm wrong on this, feel free to let me know. Years ago, I made the horse run in the meadow, it was worth him, uh, he kept running in the dream. Apparently no, not, no, it features Enjo It just looks like him. Okay, my bad. Forgive me, Enjo uh, Tomoy fans. It looked, I always assumed this was Shiro doing the, the vault. No. I had no idea that this wasn't related wasn't. to that. That's funny. I had no idea, but to be fair, a lot of characters look very similar in <laughs> the Nasu world. Caldea Boys Collection, back in the day, they didn't do um... much. They gave you a free three star. Yeah. Amakasu Shiro, our first uh, ruler that isn't John. Yeah, our first boy. Starting the. the man, Est look how sad this was. And Estelfo is here. Yeah, Estelfo is also here, but I want to say that Estelfo was already there. This is for the big Apocrypha fans before Apocrypha got their own event. Uh, yeah. Man, this is this is insane. How did Fago keep any women when they're giving them this on Caldea Boys Day? Because I'm a Kasushiro. That, that is not... that. There's barely any units. Because look at the CEs. The CEs are amazing. I think for... Do you remember which one you picked from here? Yes, Teacher and I. I also picked Teacher and I. I think because this is a 50% starting MP, it is, but also because... It's Waver and Alexander. Exactly. Look at him. Fantastic. My boys up on here. London, he's coming. He's coming. Warning. Challenge event. Yes. They said this is a challenging event. You're coming up. And this is where Dante shows up. And I Dante will... shows up, takes all my quartz leaves. I think that is also accurate for me. <laughs> I did not get him on his first CE. Man, was he really? No, there's no way that this was uh, featured. There's no way Kaleidoscope was featured on this banner. Because that would be crazy if it was. Um, yeah, I didn't get anyone here. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think I got Dantes until like on a GSSR years later. But I really did like this event. This is maybe one of my favorite of the old events. Um, I think it's a really cool idea, and I like that they kept Dantes around. Uh, and the fact that he just lives in your head to protect you. Um, he's the first Avenger. Yes, he's the first Avenger, and then that would eventually give way to Jolter actually being in the game now that Avenger was in the game. Um, Here comes my favorite chapter for the e first one. That's right, you plumber Minum releases, and this is where Nightingale actually legitimately releases. She's in this event, but she doesn't remember who she is. Yeah. And then this is where Queen Maeve shows up. Let's go. Queen Maeve mentioned. Queen Maeve mentioned one, no, five singles for Queen Maeve. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, I want to say there was like a. I, I want to. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm not sure if anyone on JP likes Mave outside of Nasu, because Nasu is like a big stan of Mave. <laughs> um, he's like one of his favorite Fago characters. That's why Nock looks exactly like Mave. <laughs> but I want to say on NA there was like negative hype for Mave, and then eventually people kept making art of her. Maybe it was because she showed up and killed George Washington. People started to appreciate her a lot more as stories went on. Eventually she got buffed and people liked her. I want to say there was like a clear like there's some servants I feel like that are more appreciated on the NA version for completely weird and stupid reasons like Marie is more liked over here because of the what's up my homies um, to the point where she was a featured on a anniversary because on the one the America themed one simply because on NA 
we like Marie more than JP does. Yeah. It's never, it's it's really funny how that turned out, where it was like just a really silly, dumb translation is what got her over for us. And I want to say Queen Maeve is similar to that. Like, it was like a slow burn, but I want to say she's liked a little bit more on our side versus JP, but I don't officially know that much about it. Maybe it's just because I see more English fan art of her than I do of um, JP. Yeah. But both exist. So, I tried for both of them. I didn't get Koo Alter. I got John. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. And this is also before John gets all her buffs, correct? Yep. So, I mean, I mean still, it, I think she was considered a bad pull back then, but a 5 star is a 5 star. She was considered a bad pull, but also, she was also considered the most uh, defensive unit in the game. It's true, and in two years' time, when she got her buff, she was going to be much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... This man, so many people just ran Kukalum. Many people thought he was brown. They did. I still think he's kind of brown, but no, it's shading. That's just the shading. It is. I'm like, would that be considered false advertisement? <laughs> A little bit. It just, it's just, it's so stark because it doesn't make sense until you see the full art. This is how his art looks like. Yeah. But then you look at his sprite and it's like Caucasian. He's Caucasian. He's You've white. never seen a more Caucasian man than one right here. But, but, Ku Plush, Ku Alter Plush, that's where a bit of the controversy comes. And I'm like, hmm. Really? I'm like, was he supposed to look like this? Is it just the shading? I'm trying to be very careful as I go down here. I'm trying to see the, the the this one right here. That's right, Mini Koo. Mini Koo. Mini Koo is brown. Mini Koo is brown, but Koo Alter isn't. That's weird. I never actually thought about that. <laughs> Mini Koo is brown. Why isn't Mini Koo white? I think there is something to be said that maybe yeah. Look, that's clearly brown. It's clearly brown. He's always been detected like in this in that CE up there, not before the Koo one. He is clearly brown. This one right here? Yes. That's good. He's clearly brown. Now, you can also see just a little bit that it's a lot of shading, so maybe you can look at it that way. But then this one, there's no denying he's white. They actually put him in light and made it, like, super high contrast just to show how white this man is. This man is pure, pure, pure lesson. And look, he's never that brown again. Even when he's in the sun, he doesn't get white. It's crazy. They said never again. Will we make this man? What is this outfit? By this the is way? a CE. Uh, this is for the Caldea Land or whatever. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. That's funny. And then the arcade craft essence. Arcade, he's brown. That makes so little. Um, what is? The he's figure, white. He's white. He is very white. On here, he. This also causes the confusion right here. He's brown on this. He's brown on this. Brownish. You could still say that's hat but, shading, but, but that's still. Yeah, I think it's I think it's fair to say it's inconsistent. They don't know whether to make the man brown or to make him white. See, this one you can tell he's white, but it's a little bit more tanned white. Yeah, 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 for sure. Hmm. But yeah, that is definitely the the longing thing of him, and, and he's still used to this day as far as I'm aware. It's maybe he's one still of the most... great. And this is the start of uh, Gay for Edison because this is the first time Edison releases. Shoutouts, Gay for Edison. Lost, we lost them to Final Fantasy XIV, but may they always be Gay for Edison. Uh, and then this is... Oh, yeah, this is the crazy stuff. This is when the advanced campaign starts. And this is also a crazy time for us, because this is around the time where we no longer have the house. <laughs> I want to say for Jolter's release is when it Jolter's started Jolter's release, we do not have a house. Yes. Jolter's release, this is when it happens... Um, Jolter comes out. I want to say I tried for Jolter. No. This is the waking before we lose the house. Is it? Yes. I remember making a Jolter summon video. Eating rice. And I got her in one multi. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> this is how I remember. I, I was just eating some sweet rice. And I was like, oh shit. Oh, some video's over. Thanks guys. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, if you can find that video, fight, give it to me. I, I don't think I can. It's on my old, old. Laptop. Damn it! That's a shame. 
and then these are the these fuckers. I never got Jolter, but I sure got in these motherfuckers oh. over and over again. The big three? The big three gentle effect. This is it was you! It was <laughs> this bitch is the reason why all my song videos get ruined. Cause these three the show up. The big three? The big three. Oh my god. Art of the poisonous snake, gentle affection, and art of death. Yeah. Oh man. So I don't remember the day, but I do remember the. Have, I think have I told you the story about how mom told us that we were losing the house, right? No. Okay. So me and my, so me and our sister, we were coming home from work, and it was a late night working. And when we were in the car, we were talking about um, bananas, and I said like, "Yo, bananas are really good, and I like it on ice cream, but I feel like it's never cold enough. I feel like it's too hot." She's like, "Why don't you put it in the fridge?" And I said, "Fridge banana." And then it started this chain of me going, fridge banana. So we come into the house super laughing, and I'm like, I'm going to put the banana in the fridge. And then my mom is there, and she's awake, and I'm like, hi. And the banana is being put in the fridge, and she's laughing and saying, like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm putting the banana in the fridge. And I'm, like, laughing, and then she says, we're losing the house. And then <laughs> my banana is all... My hand is in the fridge with the banana, and my lasting memory of fridge banana is the devastating news knowing that our childhood home was being lost. And then I went, oh. And I put the banana in the fridge and closed the fridge. Oh. And then the next, when I woke up, I had a sad fridge banana. <laughs> it was never- I was in... never warned. Really? So we just kind of, we just like left one day? Is it, how was that? How did that happen for her? Uh, there was just one day, it was like, uh, mom told me, pack your stuff. And I said, pack my stuff. What do you mean? He's like, oh, just put in boxes. We're going to be moving somewhere. I said, okay. And I started doing that. I didn't think we were losing the house. I didn't think it was getting revoked. Yeah, it, w it was a whole... It was a whole situation that we were never fully aware of, and I want to say we've gotten a little bit better at that, but it was definitely a tumultuous time. So at this point, um, the reason I say that is because I had to stop uh, spending. So I was always in the idea that like, oh, when Fate Zero comes up, I'm not going to be, I'm going to spend on it and I'm going to do it, but then we lost the house and I said, well, now I need to save up money for, at that point, I thought was going to be a very easy process to find a new place. It turns out in the time that, from when my parents first bought a house to now, the housing market was fucked and it still is fucked in California. Um, so we, I thought like, oh, I'm just going to save and we're going to save for the trip and it'll be fine. Not knowing it would take years for us to actually leave our, um, uncle's apartment and so i say it and so i was like oh, i'm not you know i'm it's not, not gonna, an apartment it, what, it's what? a farm <laughs> it's a farm yeah no my bad i i mean i, I got confused with where, where we live his farm um so i was like okay i'm not gonna spend on fate zero that really sucks and so i did uh the one multi i had for it and i said i'm just gonna try and see if i can get a crafty essence maybe some threes that's how bad my my the life was going for me it's like i just need some three stars some three star c's let me see if it's get good and i got a scandar first multi i know i can hear you from across the, i screamed the the, from the far <laughs> i was so happy a scandar is one of my favorite characters he's maybe my favorite character in general, and maybe you can say that's why I had such a grudge against Gilgamesh for so long, because he's the one who smoked my goat. He's the um, one who said when your goat is washed. <laughs> when my goat is washed, he completely fucking hogwashed him. It was it was a sad state of affairs. Um, so I love Iskandar, and I was able to get him, and I was like, oh my god, finally. And then then the then the fucked up thing is, if you can see here, Fate Zero releases April nineteenth. The next day was my birthday. <laughs> It was a, a tumultuous time. It was a tumultuous task to it, keep you happy. Yes, it was a it was a hell of a time. But I remember getting that, and that made me happy. The power of of the pure. So this this portion. is we're heading into the month I like to call the worst month of my life. Really? This this entire month of ago was horrible. So what happened? Well, I wasn't summoning on Kentucky, but it's simply Rashomon and Song Zong coming to the West mm. didn't give me a ounce of anything. No CEs, Nothing. no servant, and I'm like, what? What? What do I do? I just spent all the money I earned from like my paycheck here, mm -hmm. 
and I got nothing. I remember the. Is this where I think? And then soon Onigashima comes and fucking spits on my grave. <laughs> That's right. I remember from February there was also. Is this when? No. When is? Do you remember when the you try again for Bride Nero? Because I think that's the only time I've ever had to tell you, I think it's time for you to quit for go. It's Valentine's Day, though. Is it Valentine? Is it is it this one? Is it this Valentine's Day? I don't think it is. Uh, no, it's next. Is it? Is it's it? Is it, is it 2019. It's. It must be next year then. It has to be on that one. I don't think you told. Me, I think you told me that for Raiko. I forget. It, it was a case of just like. You were trying, and you just failed, and you had, like, lost a lot of money on it. And you were definitely in a state of just, like... That it would explain a lot if you had also done it on this, and then you did it again, and you were just, like, in a completely big downfall at that point. Uh, but I, I remember, know. I think it was the only time I had to say, like, Hey, man, here, let me just buy you a real game, and then you can go play it. And you know what that game was? What? Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It is, and let me tell you... Should just wasted that on gotcha. <laughs> Should have just put it on the gotcha. Probably. I remember that. I didn't remember the game, but I did remember I got you. I something. can. You ought to know why I know this is my worst like two months. Mm. This is when I finally started to grail Gillis Saber. <laughs> really? This is when I was like, I hate this game. I'm gr I'm grailing Gillis Saber. That's funny. That's hilarious. Oh man. I remember in Rashomon, I don't think I think I got Burning Tale of Love and then for Jerk Coming to the West, I got Song Song and I was pretty happy. I think I also got Lee Shu I was pretty happy on this one. And I also got this, the craft seas for Go West, Choose Some Money Fire and all three together, which is needed because this is maybe actually the worst grind in all of Fago history. Yes. This the, if you did not play original Journey to the West, it is terrible. It is the, one of the worst experiences you can have uh, grinding in this game, um, which is why it's, it came back one more time and they added Waver, which back in the day, Waver was one of the best support, was the best until Merlin came out. And to have him as a bonus character is a sign of just like, we need people to get through this shit because it was bad. It was not a good time. Um, people on NA were praying that the early advancements would come over. Never came. Never came. No. And then we have June on Agashima, and that's where Raiko comes out. We both failed to get Raiko on this we one. We both failed to get Raiko. I got a cool new Kentucky out of it. Oh, I was okay with it. I didn't get Ibaraki. I didn't get anyone here. I think I got Ibaraki, Dumplings Over Flower. I think I got all the C's. I just got basically everyone but right. No, uh, I got this one, this one, this one, this one, just no Raiko. And it would be years until I would eventually actually legitimately get Raiko. I still don't have Shooter nor Raiko. Man. And I'm very tempted to use my GSSR on them every time. That's fair. I would do that if I did not have Reiko right now. I would still do that. And this also would give us our first... Um... No, it wouldn't be our first because uh, Shiki's our first. But he's definitely the single target writer that a lot of people used back in the day and still use today. He's crazy. He is crazy. He's really good. This is where uh, my luck starts to come up coming up soon. Camelot. Yeah. Camelot and the chapter release? Chapter release, Camelot, it revitalized my love into this game. <laughs> that chapter single-handedly saved me from quitting the entire game. Really? Yeah. This is, I got, I didn't get Lancelot. I did get Nidocris and Osmandius though. Mmm. Alright, I don't, I think I got Lancelot and that's it. I, it would take years for me. I think I did get Ozzy, but I want to say it was randomly I would get Ozzy. As I was, I was like, went down the, the rabbit hole trying to get Quetzalcoatl. Um, that's coming soon. Yeah, that's coming soon. I love Camelot. Camelot is an amazing, uh, it is an amazing story. It is 100% an amazing story. It is great stuff. This is also the first case of maybe NA is a little bit overprepared because the Gawain fight... Um, on J for JP, everyone was saying, oh, it's one of the hardest fights in the entire game. It's so annoying. Then when it came to NA, everyone had archers ready. <laughs> and I remember my case was just like, oh, man, that was insanely easy. Uh, that was, the hype up for that was not worth the actual fight that I just had with this man. Well, I had Kentucky. Yeah, you had Kentucky. I had, um... We're nearing the first anniversary. I think it's a good place to stop if, when we talk about it, though. Yeah, I think that would be a good place to stop. Maybe we can... We can separate them in different Chunk. eras. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, yes, then it was what who carried me for Camelot, and then we have Fago Summer and the Anniversary. So for summer, summer was actually before the anniversary, right? No, you skipped over the anniversary. Where's the anniversary? There it is. Here's the anniversary. Okay, we'll stop right here at the anniversary. Um, this is the anniversary. Happy one year. Takeshi Takuchi draws his mash. And this is where the same course renewal comes back. That's right. Look at how much it used to be. <laughs> $80 for 86 St. Quartz paid and 54 free. And then it was changed to... Um, Unironically, highway robbery. This is insane that this used to be this way. I forgot. Holy shit. 30 bucks for not even the GSSR. That's right. Oh my god, the GSSR used to be 30 back in the day. Holy shit, this is so bad. They need to do this updating. It used to be more than... 30. Yeah. By the way, you need to they need to redo this again because this is still not great as I <laughs> as I look to prepare for the upcoming anniversary. Yeah. Um they could really improve on this. Um but holy shit back in the day. I forgot if that you're wailing to... on this game, you were doing something wrong. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, it was it was not a good time for anyone. Um I still have this anniversary here once and here's Da Vinci, which I would never get Da Vinci, and I still never have. I think, um... I love Da Vinci. It's a shame that she's you never... You know who, uh, who I got for my anniversary? Who'd you get? Gregorius. Really? <laughs> yeah, I am seeing who's on the day of anniversary, Gregorius. There he is. Oh my god. That's fine. Let me see who I got on here. This is on... I, I don't I, I, I don't remember this is around the time that I start doing videos on it to be 100% real with you no it's a bit later it's a bit later who was my is it Nido no way was Nido because really my GSSR there's no way that it was my GSSR for this year is Nido on here three nights plus extra four horsemen now Chris isn't a five star so this must be where I got my mp2 no it's not who did I get on here to be honest, I'm looking at the, um... Maybe you got a dupe. Maybe, but who would it be of? Drake. And, let me see. Seven... Waver? It might... It was Waver. It had to have been Waver. I think it might have... I tried... Maybe tried going for, um... Alter Coup. And I ended up getting another Waver. I think that's probably right. Actually, funny enough, I can search this. I can go to Twitter.com. Twitter.com slash search. And I can type in for for my account, Purple Wookie, and then go for, what is the month? It is July? July. No. Okay, July. What's the date? I can go up. You need to go all the way up. It is July... 7th? 7th. Okay. July 7th. So I got Ozzy on here. 20... That makes sense. 2018. Okay. So Osmandius was my GSSR. Really? Okay. July um, 8th, 2018. Search. That's right. We were also at, um, were we at Anime Expo this year? Yes. I watched MASH bounce up and down a ball while I shouted affection at her. Ask me anything. <laughs> we were doing the VR MASH experience. Yeah. Which, mind you, wild stuff they have happening in Japan. <laughs> they do. Oh my god. Some of the, I guess you can look at some of these memories. Uh, as I said, there's a MASH cosplayer waiting in line for, uh, for Go VR making this comic canon. <laughs> Which is this one. Um... Mr. McMahon had created the Kiss My Ass Club for C I don't remember what I'm talking about here, but let's see if I can keep going down and see. This is around or collection time. Yo! Oh, yo. This is Yucko. Like, everyone's favorite. I love him. Rupert. Do we ever find out? Here's Gills. Here's Gills. Ostolfo. I don't remember what... <laughs> what am I doing with my life? You're just, you're just hanging out. I am just hanging out for the most part. Um, 102. Skip <laughs> uh, dance. There's, this is a uh, uh, best room to get going. This is yeah. I'm trying to get people into ore collection. This is the anniversary of ore collection. Right? Got yeah, everything I wanted. There we go. Oh thanks. This is pretty cool. I don't remember where this is now. It's in the storage, maybe. Probably. Okay, so if I keep going, it has going to down, be soon. Sluts, whatever. <laughs> That's when our sister go went went to go ask us for uh, 
to go find uh, hentai for her, if I remember correctly. And I'm you! Ask me, that's right, the me. I couldn't go. You couldn't go. I was 17. That is correct. Is it really? Okay. I bought this on Anime Expo. Did I not really post what I put up? I guess not. Did I not do it this year? That I feels almost impossible for me not to do it this year. Maybe. Uh, Duke missed us. So let me see. Let me go up to July 6th. I remember correctly, Anime Expo of this year was my birthday present. Real, that would make sense. Kurapika. Kurapika. Again, I, or collection was heavy into my head. This one is peak or. It is peak or. Because that's when they did the whole arena update. Yes, this is the, the peak of it all. So that wouldn't be a surprise if there wasn't that much for ghost stuff on me. If you don't know, that that was basically the thing that I was majoring in. It wasn't until... I think I would do occasional things like that. It wouldn't be till another year where Dragalio would come out. Oh, Rip Coley's original account. Coley's original account. And fucking lost to the hands of time. And then he took someone's hentai account. <laughs> he sure did. Sure did. Uh... And I did make him look bad for looking at that stuff. Perfect. Because I posted screenshots. <laughs> well, you're not the. Uh, That's not the first first time someone in our family has posted screenshots of him doing that. Uh, man, I can't. I really can't find. I where guess we didn't do GSSR. Uh, um, I had to have done GSSR at some time. Well, we can look into it maybe another time. Uh, yeah. If Go has problems, but I'm always happy. Uh, this is just me shitting on Dokkan, which is what I do. Dokkan? Uh, probably from Zahal. Zahal deleted their post? No, probably from the old account before it got completely destroyed. Oh. Maybe, yeah, maybe... Man, I, can't, I really can't find it, so... I can't remember from the selection. I feel like it would be Waver, and maybe there's a video up from me. Doing it. I don't think I ever did a video for Da Vinci, so maybe it's just lost. I did get Partake with the King. Mm. That's what I remember here. Did not get Da Vinci. I might look up on Discord when I talk to a friend to see if I posted it on there, but that's it for this. And yeah, this anniversary is the first year anniversary, and not much. I'd uh, say a very rocky start. I would say from where we are now, yeah, it kind of was. It, it, it's weird because in a lot of ways it's not as rocky as Japan, but you can still feel like a lot of the issues that we're going through here, I feel like we continue to have them now. It's stuff that never went away. It was stuff like, why does it take so long between stories? Why is there no events anywhere? Why is it like it, a lot? I remember a dude I uh, used to, he took me to task once, which is why I now change the videos when I talk about what's coming up for this month. Cause it used to be just events. And he said, all you talk about is banners. And I'm like, I need you to understand. I'm not angry at you. But a lot of Fago is just summoning on banners. Because there's not that many events. And I try and talk about the events. And it's like, one event. Here's the here's the event for the year. For here's the, the event. event and how it works. It is the same as this last event. Yes. But for the most part, there's just not... Like, you can, we can look at here for this anniversary. One event. It's a long as event, but it's one event. We can look at June, one event. We can look at May, two events. Two events. This is this is an unheard of precedent. One event. Though I think Rashmon is just story. Eh, it's like a raid. Yeah. It, 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 but it's still weird to have them back to back like that. April, one, two. No, one event. No, the Jolter was an event. Uh, oh yeah, this time true. Yeah, this is an event. It's a weird small event, but it is an event. Um. But there's, there's a story. no event, one event. But this is like a story event. It's like not even a real first event. challenge event. Yes, it's a challenge event, not a real event. So this is the one event. Caldea Boys was an event back then. Garden of Sinners was long. It was a very long event, to be fair. Um, so yeah, it was a really rough year. And in terms of the actual summons that I did, I feel like I did all right. This ends up being a weird year in general, like I said, just because then <laughs> near the beginning of it. Um, we did lose the house and it kind of completely changes everything and... I feel like I did terrible this year. Comparatively, probably. Yes, you did. Um, not the greatest of it all. I did pretty good just because I feel like when I started my G Japan uh, account, I had no SSRs. And by this point, I want to say I have one, two, three, four... 
five. Five, because I got Arjuna. I forgot I got Arjuna. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I had nine SSRs at this point, and that was insane for first year. That's like nine SSRs in the first year is like an insane amount of get of getting anything, which is insane when you think about most gotchas operate nowadays. Where I feel like people are getting probably more than nine SSRs a year. Like I, I don't know how Honkai works, but I assume people are getting more than nine SSRs in a year. Um. Well, yeah, they usually are because uh, it's a split. It's split two banners. There's the premium, and then there's the normal. Normal has guaranteed, and so does the premium. There's also the basically CEs of the game, which are big in itself because they do matter sometimes, and that's their own five star. Mm. So you're getting, I'd say, my one close to one year playing Honkai Star Rail. I've had over, let's see, one, and I got three dupes of her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two, three, four, five. Six. I had maybe around nine SSRs that are fives. Wow. Yeah, that's that's very different. Like I'm even trying to think of the internal. Not, of the and I'm not including dupes. Yeah, not including dupes and stuff like that. I remember because uh, a newer gotcha. It's not new at this point anymore, but it's still ongoing. Um, Genshin. I think of all the times I've gotten SSRs and I got specifically the SSR I wanted and it had pity. Um, Cause remember in early for go, there was no pity. They don't even now technically, a even lot though of people there's say, technically no pity. Yes. Even now they say, even though it's so high, it's like, yeah, I saved 300 tickets. I have pity. It's, <laughs> it's not really anything. The GSSRs make it so that on modern gotchas, it just doesn't compare to the old times. Like the fact that I'm getting like, and that's, I think what I was talking about in that Twitter post, where I was saying was like, Dokkan, at this point, shits out SSRs. You get an SSR multi and most of them don't matter because they're worthless. In early Fago, if you got an SSR, even a bad one, you knew that this unit could carry you for something. Even quote unquote bad. Even quote unquote bad ones in the early days could carry you. Uh, the only thing that couldn't carry you were Assassin 4s back in the day because they had the um, Steno, Steno which is Carmilla. Yeah, which Carmilla is a little bit better, but Stena was bad enough to be like, uh, she didn't have a very useful NP and her damage was bad. But even then, you had something like Gawain where you could uh, charm lock them. So there was use for it if you could find there it. There were uses for everyone. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's a little bit of a rough year, but it, it was enough for me to keep going for it. The story stuff starts to ramp up near the end of it with Camelot. And when we come back to talk about the next year. Uh, it's a big year. I want to say it might, it might actually be one of the best years for Fubo. It is, unironically, probably the best year. I think for a lot of people, this is like not only the best year, it's probably why they stopped, because it never got better than that. I would say the fourth year is close. Yeah. But it's not just there. Yeah, it's not it's not there just yet. But we'll be back to talk more about that. Happy anniversary, everyone. Thank you for listening, and we'll be back to talk more about other stuff. The second As, year. Yeah, we'll talk about this, uh, the second video talking about reminiscing at this point. I didn't think we would go this long, but to be honest, I just want to keep talking There's about it. There's a lot of... You can't sum up seven years in one video. It's true. I tried. <laughs> Until next time, everyone. Peace out. Say goodbye, boy. Goodbye.